Robinson and I'm the director of music and the organist here at St Mary's Basilica. Well, this is a relatively new organ. Um, in fact, I think it might be the newest organ in Phoenix. It's a, a year old, um, the typical sort of German Baroque organ, but it has the capacity to do all sorts of things. So it's very eclectic, French style, contemporary, it has MIDI function, which is quite amazing. It has a little computer built in. You can even transpose on it, which is really unusual on a pipe organ. So it's really, it's a wonderful um, addition to our music department here. Your basic um, setup here is the keyboards. Uh, the pedals and the different sounds, the stops. The basic keyboard itself, you might have two manuals like this one does, or three. If you include the pedals, actually, it's going to be three or four because they're included as a keyboard as well. On our organ, the top keyboard, the swell, as it's called, actually controls um, the section of pipes on this side. And then the bottom manual, the, or the great manual, actually controls this side of the organ. And so we have the both sides. Um, and we also have pedals underneath here, which are like volume controls. So a lot is happening here and at this, this stage. But what is it actually doing? Well, it's basically obviously sending signals uh, through there in the back room. Step up that. So here we have, for example, you see the small pipes right here. You see how small those are. Those are your smallest sounds that you can hear on the organ and the mixtures and so on are over here. Um, the big pipes are really over here. You'd have to climb away up here. Over at the back, we have some of the, uh, the reed pipes, the trumpet sounds. We've got wooden pipes up there as well. So you can see there's quite a mixture and you can see how all the um, parts of the organ are working. If you look here you can see the air supply comes through here from the blower in the back room through here into that chest, pumps through and then goes right underneath to the other side of the organ which is almost identical to this except that it has more of the big bass pipes and if it were to play just now, if it was to play something, you'd be deafened in here. <laughs> this kind of contraption here is the tremulant. This actually when you play that moves up and down like this to produce the effect of and the notes that nice vibrating effect. But one of the things that the tuners have to be really careful with is when they come in is not to breathe or put their hand over any of the pipes, especially the small ones, because they can really go out of tune just like that. You see those shutters that we have, we keep those open when the organ's not been used so that the air can flow in here and that the air outside is at the same temperature in here. It's really hard with the heat in Phoenix to maintain good tuning, but yeah, this is the inside of the, the organ chamber. The organ, you know, as we know it today, has a long, um, rich history in the church, and I think that's why so many churches are rediscovering the power of the organ today, because through the 1960s, 70s, 80s, it was kind of played down a bit in a lot of churches, especially the Roman Catholic Church, who were looking to more modern forms of worship, like a guitar based or keyboards, piano, and while that's nice for some things, it doesn't have the same capacity the organ does to bring joy. It just strikes joy into the heart when you hear the organ playing, especially in a beautiful acoustic like we have here, where you really hear those sounds ring out. I play here every day almost so every time I sit down here some days you know you feel intense or kind of stressed about things sometimes when you sit down here you just lose all that for an hour or whatever when you're playing you know so that's what I think it brings to me is some kind of a calming sometimes sometimes you kind of take a break and you look around at the church and you think wow it's so beautiful you know and so peaceful I'm really glad that I'm doing something that I'm enjoying, something that's creative, artistic. Uh, every day is a new experience with it, you discover new things all the time, but it's a wonderful experience for me to be able to play this organ in this building. <laughs>